We now want to discuss how we can store data within our code and conveniently recall it. So we'll talk about the assignment operator. And with this, we can assign data to variables. And undoubtedly, from your math classes, you're familiar with the use of variables. And in your math class, when you were first learning about variables, you might have been asked the question like, what is the value of z in the following? And you might have been told that well, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7. And then here's z. It's equal to x plus y. And there's no mystery here. z is the sum of x and y. And x and y are 3 and 7 respectively. So z would be equal to 10. And we can write these statements in Python. They appear identical to what you see above. And let's just demonstrate that. And we'll get the same result that you get in a math class. So x is equal to 3, y is equal to 7, and z is equal to x plus y. Now notice one thing when I issued these statements, uh, these complete commands, we didn't get any output. So how do we see what any of these variables are? Well, our friend the print function comes to our rescue and we could say print the string z is equal to and then next I will just put the variable z as an argument to the print function that argument of z will be evaluated to its current value and let's hit return and we see z is equal to 10. Or if we wanted to see the value of all three variables we could write something like print x as one argument, y as another argument, and z as the third argument and hitting return now we just see that the values are 3, 7, and 10 respectively. And it turns out in the interactive environment we don't even have to use the print function. If we just write x on a line by itself we'll see the value of x. Or if we want to see multiple values we can just separate them with commas. So we could write x comma y comma z hitting return. It's enclosed in parentheses, but we see the values 3, 7, and 10. Okay, so it looks like the way we assign values to variables in Python is completely consistent with what you learned in your math classes, but there actually are some important differences between what the equal sign means in Python and what you may have learned before. So first of all, you should think of the equal sign in Python as the assignment operator. As an operator, it has two operands, one to the left and one to the right. And what happens in Python is the expression to the right, so the right hand side of the equal sign can be an entire expression and that is evaluated and then the value that that right hand expression evaluates to is assigned to the operand on the left. Usually the operand on the left is a variable or sometimes instead of variable we may call it a name or we might write identifier. In general the operand on the left is called an L, that's the letter L, value. This just means a thing to which we can assign a value. And the sentence above says it's typically a variable, but sometimes it can be, say, the assignment of a value to an element of a list or what's known as a dictionary. And we'll see examples of that later. So we've written before x is equal to 3. So this takes the value of 3. Let's make it 3 plus 2 here. It will evaluate that expression. We will get 5, 
by evaluating the expression on the right. And then we assign that to the name, the identifier, or the variable x. And if we want to see what x is, we can put it on a line by itself, hit return, and we see that's 5. So this is perfectly fine. But in math class, you might be able to do something like 3 plus 2 is equal to x. It doesn't matter if you have x on one side or the other. That works fine. But in Python, that's not true. If I have 3 plus 2 and I say that's equal to x, well, it tries to evaluate the right-hand side and then assign it to the L value, the thing on the left. But the thing on the left here isn't something I can assign a value to. So when I hit return, we should get an error. And sure enough, it says we can't assign to operator. Okay, So it's a confusing error message, but we see that we do get a syntax error. In the next video, we'll explore further the difference between the equal sign that you're familiar with and the assignment operator as it behaves in Python. And it's not just that things behave this way in Python. They're this way in almost all computer languages in terms of the assignment operator, this equal sign.